There's a lot of information out there. Since starting my minimalism journey of intentional living, I have decluttered, worn the same outfit to work every day, and adopted an essentialist mindset. But what about the information we consume? That is what we're exploring today, so I'm going to share with you some clips from a recent workshop I hosted. Enjoy! Information, I think, comes in two forms. One would be proven, and then the other would be speculation. We can sometimes confuse entertainment for information. It's kind of gossipy, it's clickbaity, it's a quick fix of, hey, this is what's happening. I specifically think this applies with the news. All of news is entertainment, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this. It's fueling the this just in culture. I don't watch any news on TV, on social media, through conversations even. And I think if there's a zombie apocalypse, we are so hyper connected, you guys, that you're gonna find out. Because whenever I watch the news, I feel tension. So here's my question for you. What percentage do you think? How much of the news is negative? So the actual number is 90%. What? 90% we have 60,000 thoughts per day and when you have negative thoughts you're more likely to have more negative thoughts because your brain has taken that pathway before and it's a lot easier for your brain to take that same pathway again so why would I choose to subject myself to more negativity and this is like my my plea to everyone let's try to not regurgitate information you know a lot of us do this to sound smart we like listening to other people that sound just like us, right? This is something called a confirmation bias. So it's really the tendency also to search for information that confirms what we believe. So it's like, oh, hey, you like dogs? I like dogs too. Dogs are the best. Yup, cats are the worst. And suddenly you hate cat people. You know what I mean? And that can start to create in the worst case scenario, hate for other people who have different opinions. You can have whatever opinion you want in the world. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But what facts are underlying those opinions? Otherwise, we're just, we're just out here being opinionated. We're having these strong identities and senses of self based on speculation. And I don't know about you, but but I find that to be a very shallow kind of life. I actually try to now look at the research and apply it in real life. So what ends up happening in that process is books become my friends, right? You get to go deep into one subject matter. If you're like, who has time to read though? Go search, but search consciously. So what I do is I Google unbiased keywords. We do not want to have a conversation with the search engine, okay? That's what real people are for. If you're like, I can't find unbiased keywords, it's a waste of my time. Then I would suggest to Google positive keywords. I would rather be delusionally positive than be hopelessly negative. Say I search something like Earth is flat proof. Guess what I'm going to get? Instead, I search shape of the Earth. How to stop using negative language. So instead, we're going to say positive language usage. Well, common mistakes in relationships. What do I do? Relationship best practice. The other thing that I like to do is go into Google Scholar because that shit does not play games. Now you can fact check with Google Scholar. And clarity comes from execution. I say this often, right? The moment you start to do, that's when you really start to be in it and, and see it for what it is. There are no shortcuts. I got this for Christmas. My one rule was no shortcuts, Shin. I, I'm trying to figure this out on my own. So this is how far I've gotten. Basically what I learned is that Rubik's cubes are layers and you gotta do one layer first, and then you gotta do the second layer. So as you can see, I've completed the first layer, which is so epic given the fact that Yo, I ain't no math genius. That's the best information in you doing the shit because now this is lived experience, right? Better effort gets you better results. And that overall, in terms of my minimalist approach to information, is you will get in return what you put in. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.